Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can put a 512GB micro SD card onto your Nintendo Switch and, re and thereby replacing your existing micro SD card. Assuming you guys still, assuming you guys um, are still using those really small ones. So, as you can see here on my Nintendo Switch, I got, I got about 52.1GB left. Um, I did a previous... I did previously do a video on a on of me installing a a 400 gigabyte micro SD card, but that was which was to replace my 200 gigabyte one. I mean, 50 gigabytes is still a lot, but in this day, but in this day and age, it's gonna it's gonna be gone not too long from now, especially with all the updates. I think the updates, especially to Fortnite and Warframe, are really are really um, killing this micro SD card. So what? So what you want to do first is make sure your Nintendo Switch is off. So power it off. Make sure it's completely off. And go onto the back. And yeah, it's off now. So you see this flap right here. What you want to do is just push. Yeah, just push the card in, and it'll pop out. So, as you can see here, it's a 400 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Mm, it's having trouble zooming. There we go. Now, now I got this off of Amazon during the Black Friday sale. I am a little worried that it may or may not be a fake, but we'll see. So what you're gonna need now, what you're gonna need for this um, is a is a, is a is a micro USB card reader. Well, two of them, two of them to be precise. I'd say one of them, but really, if you have a if you have a 400 gigabyte card. You really don't want to be ins installing all this onto your computer, unless, of course, you want to back have a really massive hard drive, like a one terabyte drive. So, I recommend just have getting two of these, which really shouldn't be too expensive. I mean, chances are your computer already has one built right into it. So, here, put it in like that, and now let's open up this package. So let's get the scissors. All right, so we have here the card the micro SD card itself and the SD adapter for SD card adapter you know if you want to use it um, you know assuming you have one of a certain depending on your device you may need it in my case I may not may or may not really now, how do we get this thing out? apologize for the awkward camera angle but I only have two hands so really there's not much I can do about that Oh, how do I get this out? Yeah, how do I get this? Oh, oh. Okay, I think I gotta pull this flap out. This is really weird. Oh. Okay, there we go. Now I got it out. Now let's... Okay, here's the card. Here's the adapter. And here's the 512 gigabyte card itself. So let's take this. Let's take this and put it into the other adapter, which I have here. And now let's go take this and plug these two into my computer. So, 
So I have my computer screen right. All right, so you take this in, plug it into one USB port. And now take this, you know, take this one and plug it into the other other USB port. Yeah, make sure you have multiple USB ports because you. Oh no, I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna have a little trouble here because I don't have enough ports. Yeah, make sure you. But yeah, you gotta make sure you have a lot of ports, guys, because you are gonna be gonna have some trouble. All right, now you can see here, we got it on my computer. So I mean, this thing can zoom in. Okay, so this is the, this, okay, the H drive is my, is my 200 gigabyte, 400 gigabyte, sorry. And the, so what you wanna do here is simply, hmm, that's odd. Okay, that's, just drag it and drop it into the into the into this other drive which is the yeah so hmm okay yeah so here it is so here's the hang on a second i think you got to format this first yeah it's x fat and this one is Xbat as well. Okay, I don't think it. All right, so go into your, go into as instant, as you can see here, it's blank. You know, four hundred seventy-seven gigabytes. And now you want to drag, simply drag and drop. You know. And there we go. So as you can see here, I about. Got about 314 gigabytes of data. This is gonna take a while, so of course I'm not actually gonna wait for this to finish. Looks like it's gonna take about a whole 12 hours. 12 hours. So make sure that your computer's computer doesn't turn go to sleep. Um, what you want to do here is actually go to display settings and make sure that your um, yeah, make sure your make sure your computer does not go to go to sleep because then it's gonna possibly affect the transfer. And after the transfer is done, just just you know safely eject both devices by going down here and ejecting it, ejecting both devices. If it doesn't, if you know if you get an error message, just turn off your computer, and that should do the trick. Um, after rejecting it, just take the micro SD, your new micro SD card and put it in your Nintendo Switch. Make and if you get an error message that pops up, then well, unfortunately, the card is fake. But if you don't get an error message and are able to do everything, well, everything should be good. Well, anyways, guys, that does it for this video. Um, you know, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be sure to. Uh, Leave the result in comment section since I don't want to have to do any additional editing with this video. So I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, bye for now.